the end of the day at the end of the month you will likely notice that you actually save money guys no matter how small is your income but you have the will to save money so no matter how small your income if you wanted to save money you can actually do it Maris and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share it to you my personal methods on how to save money. Um, how to save money. Yes, you heard it right. So we're going to save money for the future. <laughs> I know a lot of people there is struggling very hard on saving their money because maybe of some factors like they have a low income and or ha! something in life that suddenly came to us right and we are no control of that but isn't it nice to control a little bit on our spending guys this methods that i'm going to share it to you is only based on my personal opinion and my personal ways on how i save my money on how i control and manage my finances i do respect everybody's decision on how they are going to manage their finances so maybe this uh, methods that i'm going to share it to you will help other people to be able to save and practice the art of saving money guys we are all experiencing difficulties on making our finances stable of course, we are no billionaires like Bill Gates or something. But with the aid of saving, the art of savings, I think that it will make a difference a little bit. And of course, it will help us on planning and achieving our goals. So here are my tips on saving money fast. Number one method is we should eat first before we're going to the grocery stores or to shopping. So in this method, it will make us avoid buying unnecessary things or unwanted things or more food that eventually we can't even manage to eat it in a certain time and we just throw it in the trash afterwards. In that way, we can be able to save money. Number two the 30 day rule so what is really a 30 day rule guys so this rule will basically affect our psychological way of spending our psychological habit on spending our money so let's say for example that you wanted that phone very bad right now you wanted to buy it because currently it is uh, in it's popular it's famous so the popularity of these things driven us to buy that phone impulsively so we don't use our emotion guys to buy things that actually we can wait on buying in a very good deal so maybe if we're applying the 30 day rule guys so maybe after that we are realizing that we are no longer wanting that particular thing guys if you are waiting to buy something it's more likely that you will get it cheaper on the next month or in the next period of time because uh, for example a phone its prices will eventually depreciate it's only that uh, our impulsiveness on uh, buying things are driven because of its popularity but if you are going to to control ourselves then in that way we can really save a lot of money number three you should name your savings. Why is it that it's very important to mark our savings? Why is it so important that we should mark it according to what we are going to save it for? This is very important because let's say, for example, that you are going to save for your daughter's enrollment for the next semester. So you are going to save that money for her. But suddenly you have an emergency that you needed a money but if you are going to mark it 
it's something on our brain that will tell us that no you should not uh, take that money because that money is from your daughters which is a very significant to you so in this method it's more likely that we are getting an emotional attachment to what we are going to save for on what's the purpose of that saving so in that way we can save money and instead we work hard number four total income minus savings equals expenses so this personal finance formula so this formula guys is very important and i do believe on it as well so this has been effective to me and i hope that it will be effective to you as well so let's say for example if we are going to set aside five percent ten percent or no matter how big or small you're going to save that will matter at the end that's very for sure so let's say for example you are going to save one percent uh, out from your income and in that way guys if you are we are going to do it often it will lead to become our own habit so it's more likely that we don't notice that we have actually saved money no matter how small how big as long as we have saved some amount for the rainy days guys number five stop seeing or avoid seeing advertisement or sales especially in the internet so if you are gonna save money you should limit yourself on watching this uh, sales this advertisement because it will only trigger our impulsiveness on buying making a list before we're going to shop or before we're going to the grocery stores so i do it personally guys i make a list i will see to it that everything that i needed for that certain period of time is on that list to avoid myself from being uh, going back and forth to the stores if i forget something so in that case also i save not only money but to save a lot of time so now we came to the last part which is very important as well so we should have a budget and buying our loho or our leisure time or our luxury things that we wanted why is that so because you work hard for the things that you have right now and you work hard to reach that income to reach that goal of yours right now so why buy loho when you are saving actually so i would just say that it is okay to buy something to reward yourself because you have been working so hard and of course uh, we are just human we are not a machine to just work all day and night and we need something to be able to satisfy to be able to trigger our happy hormones within us that uh, it's nice to work hard and save but why is it budgeting again so what is budgeting why budget on something that makes you happy why we can just buy it right now and enjoy right now so i have heard a lot of people saying that yes we don't need to save for that if you if we wanted for it just we, we go for it just we buy for it life is too short and i agree that life is really too short guys but to live a life and not having any money or not having any pen in the pocket is uh becomes really so short <laughs> just only my opinion why budgeting again so budgeting has been always a vital rule on our personal finances guys it will be able us to allocate to distribute properly our resources guys without any compromising or without giving us stress this is a very important that we should budget okay so if you wanted that phone you can save that's what i'm saying earlier that you should name your savings on what you are going to buy it for what you're going to save it for it's very important that when we are enjoying and satisfying ourselves and it doesn't compromise anything we should not spend anything higher than our total income so it will be wrong if we are spending higher our expenses is higher than our income so it's very wrong guys this is the end of our video and i hope that you learned something from me today okay can you please comment down below on what are your ways on saving money and if you are doing the same like me as well so thank you very much for paying attention and watching my video and see you again on the next vlog bye